Well, I gotta say, I am pretty proud of myself. I was able to make these chewy, delicious bagels right in my very own oven. Now, it does take a little bit of time, but this recipe might just be the next weekend baking project that you've been looking for. So let's head to the kitchen. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Sherry and as of the time of this recording, today is National Bagel Day and I'm not going to lie and tell you that I've made bagels before because I haven't, but we're going to give it a shot today. <laughs> so I am getting started with one and a quarter cups of warm water, um, which I've already warmed up and I am using my Instant Read Pampered Chef thermometer and it is... 106 so it's perfect now a lot of people will tell you can just stick your finger in it and judge it that way it should be a little bit warmer than bath water but i don't trust myself <laughs> i'm not a very good judge of things so we are adding in one and a half teaspoons of sugar and then i'm also adding in a seven ounce package of yeast then we're just going to give it a stir And then we're going to wait about five minutes until this becomes like nice and foamy, which is about five minutes. All right. And now we wait. All right. Time is up. And as you can see, our yeast mixture has gotten nice and foamy. So the next thing I want to do is, well, I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to grab my bowl to my KitchenAid mixer. So you can do this by hand. Um, it's another thing that I'm just not really good at. So I have my KitchenAid stand mixer out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add to this bowl three and a half cups of bread flour, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and then we're also going to stir in our yeast mixture. So there's several places giving away bagels today. <laughs> Brussels, Bruegels, Bruegels bagels. I don't know. I don't have a bagel place next to me. This is why I have to make them myself. So I'm just kind of scraping my sides down. I just want to try and get this all incorporated. <coughs> Excuse me. Einstein Brothers, they're giving away bagels. Thomas, Thomas Breads. So if you guys have any of those next to you, go grab yourself some a bagel. <laughs> so this is about good. I'm going to let my KitchenAid mixer do the rest of the work, I think. So I've got it fitted with the hook attachment. Scrape this off of here. All right. And that is it. So we want to knead this for about seven minutes. Boy, I tell you, there's a lot of waiting in bake. <laughs> wait five minutes. Now we got to wait seven minutes. And then we're going to have to wait for him to rise. And then we'll probably have to wait for him to rise again. <laughs> All right, seven minutes to go. Okay, so we just passed the seven minute mark. Now I will say it might be better if you knead your dough by hand. <laughs> This is a really dense dough and it damn near knocked my KitchenAid off the counter. So I kind of had to sit here with it like this. But nevertheless, it saved these arms some work. So the next thing I want to do is grab a little bit of olive oil. I've got a clear bowl here. So we're just going to oil our boil. Oil our bowl. Did you hear me say that backwards? <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. And then we're going to go ahead and place our it up take our dough and form it into a little ball here and then we're just going to place it in our bowl grab a little bit of saran wrap Oop, i got this going backwards we're going to cover this and then we're going to let it rest for about an hour to two hours until it has doubled in size so cross our fingers <laughs> this works Okay, it's taken the better part of two hours for this to double in size and finish rising. But I think it's ready now. So I'm going to go ahead and take saran wrap off. And I'm going to do something that drives my husband crazy. <laughs> he thinks I should be gentle with the bread for some reason, but I always like to punch it down. <laughs> I mean, a lot of the recipes say to do that. Yep, I just punched it again. <laughs> He's watching. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of flour on here, I think. And then we just want to divide this into eight pieces. At least that's what the recipe says. See if we can get them kind of even. I 
All right, so I cut it in twos and then in half again and then half again and then one more time. I don't think these are all going to be the same size, but that's okay. And then we're going to roll these into a ball. And then we're just going to poke a hole in the center and hopefully stretch these into a bagel shape. Now, I didn't say they were going to be pretty. <laughs> like I said, I have not done this before. So, all right. That kind of looks like a bagel, right? So I'm going to finish doing these. And then once I get these all done, we are going to let them sit for about 10 minutes. And while they're resting, I'm going to go ahead and get out a pot and get some boiling water going. So that's like the trick to bagels apparently is to boil them. All right, my bagels are done resting and I've got two quarts of water that I brought up to a boil. And then the other thing that I did was preheat the oven to 425 degrees. So now I'm just going to add a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar to my water. And you can also use is it barley malt syrup or malt barley syrup. I don't, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> Obviously I don't have it, so that's why we're using the brown sugar. So this is what is going to give it kind of that sheen that bagels have on the outside. So now we're gonna take our bagels and we're gonna drop them. And let me just show you real quick because they didn't turn out so pretty. Like I said, this is my first time. So these six, I don't know if you can see all those are mine. And then my husband and Tiffany made the other two. So I told them they won't get to eat it if they made the most pretty one because that'll be the one that I photograph. <laughs> all right, so I'm just going to take my bagels and we're going to drop them down into here. And then we're going to do each side for about a minute. It says like one to two minutes. So I'm going to do a minute. I got my handy little timer here. And I got these on Amazon, and they are great. I've got them in all different, I don't know what the word is, not denominations, but <laughs> so 1, 5, 10, and 30. This one's like 1, 3, 5, and 7. So they're all different, and they're just, you just flip them. So these were, I have so many of them. They're great, like for Thanksgiving. I had, you know, one timer set for my turkey, one for my stuffing, and so on and so forth. So I find those really handy. All right, and you can see on the bottom how much time you have left. So we got about 23 seconds, and we're going to flip these over. I think they might be a little prettier after I boil them. Maybe it'll smooth out some of the wrinkles. <laughs> I don't know. Mark and Tiff got theirs pretty smooth. Mark said his hands were wet when he did his, and so I think that's probably what helped. All right, so our timer's getting ready to go off. So this is cooking the outside. So I'm just going to stop it, and then I'm going to turn it back on and flip my bagel. Well, maybe it is still going to be ugly. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. So the other thing I have here is I have some everything seasoning for bagels and whatever else you could put this on bread or I don't know what all you could put it on. I have to think about it a little bit. But anyway, I picked it up for my bagels. And then I've also got a little bit of an egg wash here. So it's just egg and water mixed together. We're going to brush that on after all of these get done and then we'll put our toppings on. Still got a half a minute. Boy, time goes slow. It took forever to get this water to a boil because I kept staring at it. So, all right. Find a spot on here to move it over to. I just grabbed the biggest baking sheet I could find. All right, I'm going to see if I can't flip it back over to the other side because that side looked prettier. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to turn this off. And all I'm going to do now, like I said, is let me see if I can hold this up. And I'm just going to brush this with my egg mixture or my egg wash, I should say. <laughs> I probably got steam going everywhere in the camera. And then we're just going to sprinkle our everything topping on here. I don't know. Mine are looking pretty now. <laughs> I think these are going to look just like you get in the store. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to finish doing these. And then I'm going to put them in the oven and we're going to bake them for about 20 to 25 minutes. So all of my bagels are done and I'm pretty excited. They're not the prettiest, but that's not really what matters, is it? <laughs> 
matters how they taste. So as you can see, they're all, I had a hard time getting my dough really smooth on them. <laughs> so they're all different shapes, but I think that's okay. And then here's Mark and Tiffany's. And I think that this is probably maybe the best looking one. I don't know. Maybe it's this one. I don't know. I'll probably save these two for, <laughs> for photography, for photographing them. But for right now, I'm going to put these back in here. I think I may have left them in the oven like maybe a minute or two more than they should have been in there. So by placing them in here and putting this lid on here, it'll trap the moisture in, and then it'll make them a little bit, a little more moist on the outside instead of so dry. So here is the moment of truth, and I probably really should toast this, but... I don't know. Feels like a real bagel. <laughs> I'm not very good at slicing. There we go. Look. I think it looks like a bagel. I do think I need to toast it. Mm, but I'm running a little bit behind. I've got people coming over for dinner, so I really need to hurry. So, <laughs> I mean, I like bread toasted or not toasted. So I got some butter here. I'm going to throw a little bit of honey on here. If I had time, I was actually going to mix together some um, butter and honey and make some homemade honey butter, whipped homemade honey butter. If you've ever been to Texas Roadhouse and they have the whipped honey butter, except they have cinnamon in theirs. That's pretty good. <laughs> of course, I'm really enjoying the honey and butter on here, but... Hold on a second. I need another bite. <laughs> I think they need to rest just a little bit. The texture seems a little... It seems fine, but... Seems like I may have needed to just let them... It must be good because I keep beeping it, right? Beeping it. I keep eating it. <laughs> anyway, I think they turned out good, though, all in all. I think next time I probably wouldn't work my dough as hard as I did with the dough hook and when I was trying to shape them. And I think I would have been able to get a better shape on them. But all in all, I think they turned out really good. So anyway, try it for yourself. Let me know how it goes. And I will see you next time. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Bye.